and welcome back. Today I'm looking at Sonocent Recorder. Now we've got two there, haven't we? We've also got Sonocent Link. Now Sonocent Link comes free for students in education. They get that as free as their package, for example, with Sonocent Audio Note Taker. But you can still purchase it for twelve ninety nine with Sonocent Recorder or use the free version. If you like it, I do recommend getting the full version because it's really good. So I've got the demo version, so I'm going to select open. And we are kind of limited with the demo version. Now before you start, select settings top left hand corner. Recording quality, really important depending on how much storage you have in your phone. I've got it on standard, I find that works quite well. If you select high quality, you can see how much it uses much more per hour. Not quite double, but not far off it, but the quality would be so much better. So choose what you want, but if you are struggling, I wouldn't go under long play to extra long play, the quality is really not good. So I'm going to leave it on standard and select settings to come back out. Any photos you take, because you can actually take photos during a lecture or meeting, and it will add those photos you've taken to the time that you're actually recording, so it syncs it all. Now, it will automatically save them to your library, which I like to do anyway, but you can choose which you want to save them manually. But if you are recording something, you want things done automatically, so you don't have to fiddle about with them, but again, the option is yours. This will enable options, as you can see, that allow system sounds such as voiceover to be played while recording. I prefer to leave that off. Again, it's personal preference. I've got adjust volume automatically when it plays back afterwards, and I've got noise reduction on, but again, there's something you need to play around with. Continuous colouring, really important option. With Sonosant Recorder, it actually records in, in visual blocks. The point of that is you can annotate colours. But when you click a colour to annotate something, for example, red for important, you have to tap it again to turn it off or it continuously colours. Now, that has its advantages and disadvantages like everything. For example, if you're in a lecture and you're listening to it, you might click red to say, oh, that could be important. But then you forget about it and leave it on. You look down three, four minutes later and just realise you've made loads of important information red that you don't actually really need. So bear that in mind. And it's not a good idea to actually annotate as you're listening. It's best to do it when you play it back. Glance mode colour, I'll click that on and you can see they're the current colours we're using. We can change these and what they represent if you want. So don't worry. And to do that, select edit colour keys. See with default at the top there, select it. If I tap into it and it shows you all your colours there. I can even add new colours at the bottom if I wish. If I come back out of there, keys. I can add plus. So I can add my own colour keys if I want as well. So I could give my colour key name. My meeting. And then I could start adding the colours. So I might choose a luminous green. And that colour name could represent exam tips. Just as an example, and click done. And come back out of there. So you can add all your colours. And section colours, we can highlight whole sections or slides. Depends on how you want to use that. But I'll show you that in a minute. Click settings and come back out of there. Right at the bottom here, when you do take photos or anything, it'll automatically preview it for you in your window when you've recorded it, which is a good idea because it's a visual backup as well. Right, and at the bottom there, you've got user guide and various information to help you on using it. But I'm going to select done at the top and we're ready to go. So hit the middle button, record. And as it's recording at the top, you can see on the right here, we've got options for colours. Selecting the important all the way down to summary. So, unless you've changed them or edit them, like I showed you earlier, you might select that as a summary. Now, watch, can you see it's continuously colouring? Because I didn't untick that colouring option, that slider. So, that's a dangerous point of using that. Tap it again to turn it off. At the bottom here, you've got section colours. So, you can change section from important to summary. So, that slider section one, we can make important. Or you can untap it again. Top right hand corner separates a section or slides. Select it once. There's your slide two. And then you might make that slide a task. But also add additional information. Example, review or task. Now remember, when you're doing this, I'm going to untick it again. You need a gap in the actual audio before you can change colours again. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to make this red and carry on talking. And then I might want to turn it off again. The problem is, if I turn it off again, it then does a blank one. So if I click red, and I carry on talking, 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 and I've turned it off again while I was talking, 
it then gets rid of the red. So bear that in mind, you need the gap before you can change colours. Also, to the left here, you could add notes while you're listening. But bear in mind, if you're typing a note, you can still use the colours on the right. So for example, I might go, oh, that sounds important. Though I can't see it on the annotation page, it's still adding that red. And tap it again to turn it off. And you carry on doing your notes. So I'm going to swipe back to the right. And you see where I've added that. Bottom of the screen, you can add a photo. I might select to take a photo, which I'm going to do now. And I'm just going to take a photo of the desk and select the middle button, or depending on what phone you're using, and it gives the option to use photo, which, if you remember, will, which will automatically add it to my photos. Now, you see, I'm still recording at the top. So if I go to the bottom right hand corner, I can choose to add annotation to the photo as well. So if I click this little wiggly option, this is the thickness of your pencil or pen you want to use. So I'm going to make that quite low and I'm going to select there and then I can start adding information or, or notes or whatever you want to do there. To the right here you've got a little rubber option. So if you tap over it, it will get rid of it. And in the middle, if you want, let me make that red and tap there. You can add if you want little tips. So if I select in there, just label one, tick I've also added that to my image really useful option right top left hand corner come back out of there and if I swipe to the left it brings me back to exactly where I was plus I've got that image and a little label and even a note that I've added at the top there so a little label could be same on the image that you can go back to a later date now I'm going to turn off the task and do another slide with the top right hand corner now some more options here to the bottom right hand corner so there's three dots click on them now you can edit the recording info, so while you're listening, you might want to add information on it. So I just put desk lecture, that sounds exciting, doesn't it? Topic, not really. And last of all, speaker, Mr. Wood. Now, see, it's got the date and time all ready for you. Click save, but you're still recording. I think the only time the recording actually stops, actually, someone actually phones, so bear that in mind. Also, three little dots, we've got the colour key option, which I showed you earlier. We can change the colours and click done. But also, we've got an option called choose PDF. So if you've got a journal or PDF, you could add that. So I need to find a PDF. So let me have a look. I should have one in my Dropbox somewhere. There you go. Example app. I'm going to choose that PDF. It's going to download it. It now should add it for me. And there you go. I can tap page to add section. And there you go, I've added it at the bottom. If I tap into it, you can see it there. I can also edit that again with that option I showed you earlier. If there's certain bits of information that you might want to highlight, I will drag that down, choose that second option, make that a little bit further down, and then you can highlight information that way as well that you need. And remember, you're always recording, so go top left-hand corner, come back out of there, and swipe to the left. Everything's still there. Tap into my new section, add another note, and click done. So when it's finished, I can hit the stop button at the bottom. And there you go, it's stopped. I can carry on recording again if I want, and click stop again. Now I can play it back. Now if I swipe to the beginning, with my finger, you see it's going through all the options and notes and visual displays. Click play. <laughs> And it's recording at the top, you can see on the right here we've got options for colours. Also, if I click play again, use the forward button, select. you might select that, and you can jump to each section, each gap in the audio. Also, when you play it back, you can Summary. use the colour options after. Now watch, can you see it's continuously colouring, because I didn't untick that. Pause, so bear that in mind. So there we go, we've got all the information, I want to click close, top left hand corner, I've saved it already, so I want to click save top right, and it's done. Top right again, click done. Now I've got a number of options of sending this to my computer, laptop or Mac. Now if you're on the Mac, it automatically sends it without any issue because it uses iTunes and something called Bonjour Print Service. But on the PC, if you haven't got iTunes, it's a bit of an issue. And I find the Wi-Fi is a bit of an issue anyway, depending on where the Wi-Fi is. I find at universities, it doesn't work too well. I think there's a firewall block in it. So bear that in mind. But at home, it works okay about 60-70% of the time. But let me show that first method first. You click transfer 
Then you open up your audio note taker on your computer, click transfer, and it should then connect with your phone. And click done. And then you just add that number. The easiest method is this option on the right here, little arrow. Now we can select delete recording or share. And I'm going to share it to Dropbox. So that will automatically send to my Dropbox. And it's a free account. I think you get 2 to 2.5 gigs free. Click save. And that will automatically save it to my Dropbox folder. So then I can open it up on my computer. Just double tap it. And it will open up audio note taker. If you've got the software on your PC or Mac. And then you can start working on it there. But if I come back out of there. And go back to click back on it. And select share recording again. You can email it to yourself as well if you want or save the files to your phone. So you have got multiple options. And there you go. There's some basics to get you up and running on a recorder. Thanks for watching.